my pre-healthcare brothers and sisters. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Today, we're continuing on with our ATITs question review series, and we're gonna be discussing genetics. Question one. Which of the following reflects the genetic makeup of an organism? Is it A, mitochondrion, B, protein, C, phenotype, or D, genotype? And the correct answer is D, genotype. The question forms a general definition of the term genotype. It is a genetic material of an organism whether or not those genes have been expressed in the phenotype choice C. These genes are available to be passed on to offspring. The mitochondrion choice A is an organelle in the cell that converts sugar into usable energy, and protein choice B is the building block of cellular life. Diploid organisms contain alleles that code for a specific gene. Which of the following terms describes two identical alleles at the same locus? Is it A, heterozygous, B, recessive, C, homozygous, or D, dominant? And the correct answer is C, homozygous. When two alleles at the same locus are identical, we call these genes homozygous. Heterozygous means the alleles are different. One allele will be dominant, which means that it will either override the other recessive allele in the phenotype of the individual. In a homozygous gene, both alleles are the same, so the trait will exhibit itself phenotypically in the individual. A homozygous individual, capital R, capital R, procreates with an individual who is heterozygous for a recessive trait, capital R, lowercase r. Which of the following is the correct percentage of offspring who will be carriers of the recessive trait? Is it A, 0%, B, 25%, C, 50%, or D, 100%? And the correct answer is C, 50%. Half of the possible offspring of two parents are R, capital R, lowercase r, meaning they carry the recessive allele, lowercase r. Phenotypically, they will show the dominant trait, no disease, but their offspring might exhibit it. According to the Punnett square, 50% will be carriers of the trait. A specific disease is carried on allele lowercase x, which is recessive to the general condition of capital S. In a heterozygous male, capital S, lowercase s, procreates with a female who is also heterozygous for the recessive trait capital S, lowercase s. Which of the following is the correct percentage of offspring who will have the disease? Is it A, 0%, B, 25%, C, 50%, or D, 100%? And the correct answer is B, 25%. The Punnett square shows only the lowercase s, lowercase s, which is one of four offspring, or 25%, will exhibit the disease phenotypically. Three of the four offspring, or 75%, capital S, lowercase s, and lowercase s, lowercase s, will be carriers, while capital S, capital S, 25%, won't have any trace of the disease. The question asks what percentage will have the disease, rather than what percentage will be carriers of the disease. According to the Punnett square, 25% will have the disease. When two F1 generation flowers with the genotype capital A, lowercase a, capital B, lowercase b are crossed, the F2 offspring are found to have which of the following phenotype ratios? Is it A, 3 to 1, B, 6 to 1 to 3 to 1, C, 6 to 3, 3 to 1, or D, 9 to 3 to 3 to 1? And the correct answer is D, 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. The ratio for a dihybrid cross is 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. If you can't remember this ratio, you can always draw a Punnett square to find that ratio. Which of the following reflects the outward observable expression of an organism's genetic makeup? Is it A, phenotype, B, allele, C, genotype, or D, condom? And the correct answer is A, phenotype. 
The phenotype is the observable trait of an organism. A person may have brown hair. This is the phenotypical description. The person's genotype might have alleles for blonde hair and brown hair. The dominant gene shows up in the phenotype, but the person's offspring may have the allele for blonde hair. A codon is a grouping of DNA that correlates with an amino acid and is therefore the incorrect answer. Which of the following terms describes two different alleles at the same locus? Is it A, heterozygous, B, homozygous, C, recessive, or D, dominant? And the correct answer is A, heterozygous. The diploid organism has two sets of chromosomes, one from each parent. The genes from each match up at a place called the locus. The allele from one parent will meet its paired allele from the other parent at the locus. If the two alleles are identical, the gene is homozygous. When they are different, they are heterozygous. One allele is dominant, meaning it will exhibit characteristics over the recessive trait. A homozygous individual, capital N, capital N, procreates with an individual who is heterozygous for a recessive trait, capital N, lowercase n. Which of the following is the correct percentage of offspring who will express the recessive trait? Is it A, 0%, B, 25%, C, 50%, or D, 100%? And the correct answer is A, 0%. Just as in the last questions, half of the possible offspring of the two parents are heterozygous meaning that they will carry the recessive allele, lowercase n. None of them will show the recessive trait phenotypically, though. According to the Punnett square, 0% will exhibit the disease phenotypically. A specific disease is carried on allele, capital X, which is dominant to the normal condition of lowercase x. If a heterozygous male, capital X, lowercase x, procreates with a female who is a normal homozygous, little x, little x, which of the following is the correct percentage of offspring who will have the disease? Is it A, 0%, B, 25%, C, 50%, or D, 100%? And the correct answer is C, 50%. Half of the offspring of these two individuals have the dominant disease-carrying allele. These offspring will exhibit the disease phenotypically. According to the Punnett square, 50% will have the disease. An individual's genotype is composed of which of the following? A, only sex chromosomes. B, only mitochondrial DNA. C, all of the DNA. Or D, all of the RNA polymeris. And the correct answer is C, all of the DNA. The term genome refers to the complete set of genetic material available to an individual or a group. The important unit of genetic material as it pertains to both genotype and phenotype is DNA. An individual's genome is all of its DNA. I hope that these question review series are helpful in helping you pass the ATITs like a boss. Make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. And I highly recommend that you check out my website at nursechung.com where I have additional practice questions to help you get a little bit further in your studies. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering them. And until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.